Welcome into the WBC Arena. We've been waiting a long time to see these two get it on. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. Perhaps the greatest heavyweight of all time, the Brown Bomber Joe Lewis. He's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. Brawlers are a nightmare. You've got to be strong and fit. Use that long reach, use that long jab. Do it that way, you'll be safe all night. The one and only Joe Lewis, one of the most historically important fighters of all time. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, an iconic longtime world champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years, introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. I say you must obey. Good luck. And there's the bell for round one. Perfect punch. He just misses with that jab. Nice counter shot. The first time these two met, Marciano knocked Joe Lewis out of the ring in the seventh round. And of course, Joe Lewis never fought again. So you look at Rocky Marciano, where did it all spring from? This was that fight that put him on the map. You heard about him, but you'd never seen him. Then he went in there with a hero. He had the nation's heart, Joe Lewis. But what did he do? He didn't just beat Joe Lewis, he knocked him out. That counter shot lands. Great counter right hand there. Good left hand. Good counter right hand again. And he misses with that jab. Good counter punching for both these athletes. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Counter left hand there. He just misses with that big right hand. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. 
the body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You try to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. And he misses with the left uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Well, we've just taken a big breath and here we go again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. It's defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. lands that left counter was perfectly timed positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same you can win the fight with one punch and you can lose the fight in one punch guys that carry so much power of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter you don't get paid any extra for overtime nice counter shot Left hand misses. Perfect counter lands. Not a lot of defense here at all. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Perfect counter shot. Good left counter that lands. punch nice job landing with that right hand counter nice counter punch big left there but misses they're giving us a high tempo show so his offense gets stifled there by a clinch what we are seeing. Catch and shoot with the left. His offense gets stifled there by a clinch. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You know, I've been in five side out. When you think you come up the ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Counter right. Beautiful counter shot. Nice shot with the left.
He misses with that jab. And a counter left. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Exchange punches. Wait a minute. A left hand lands. Catch and shoot. Right with a back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Left counter scores. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Good counter-punching from both these fighters. can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Quick punch scores. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Judges, it's up to you as the fighter, and the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Here we go to the fourth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Punch, counter punch. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Miss with that jab. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. He misses with that jab. Nice counter. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. There's a counter shot. And his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. No 
rest for the very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Good counter punching. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. for the fifth round. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good right hand. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. Timing B. Oh, and Joe Lewis is hurt. He is hurt. Is he still on his feet? How did they survive that? I'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. And nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Lands with the right counter. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. Counter shot with the right hand. It's all offense, all the time. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. On to the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Got out of the way, that right hook. Oh, that punch. Beautiful counter punch. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. You don't want to trade shots. Oh, Joe Lewis just... 
all-time greats, Joe Lewis is down. point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down that is a show of character when you're put down your eagles hurt your chin's hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right i'm back in the game again it's so so hard for a fighter good job getting out of the way of that left do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you take time, play cool. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not... The, the Brown Bomber goes to the canvas! Final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Oh, and Joe Lewis is hurt. He is hurt. And this fight is going to be over. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. round seven something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round two knockdowns and you're coming back from that that's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place your legs will feel like jelly what can they tell you in the corner all they can do is wake you up they can't even go into game plan and he fails to score with that left hook Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. It's bombs away! He just missed with that left jab. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. will say no moss. Nice job landing that left counter punch. They score again with the left hand. You couldn't write a 
a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. So you're getting in there with something that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. That left counter punch will score. Defense is not an option for these two. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The Brown Bomber, it's the Brown Bomber couldn't take anymore. So got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. There's the bell to start round eight. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Joe Lewis is down. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is hard. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. 